Welcome back to the AEC installation videos. In this video we're going to cover another alternate install method in case the other two did not work. In this one we're going to install from a directory. The first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to need some kind of file management in the back of Joomla to do this. So your best bet is to go to JED which is the extensions Joomla.org directory and actually do a search for ext explorer and you're going to see that it comes up here. What you do is you click on that and then what you want to do, do is go to the download section and actually download the most recent version which in this case would be rc5.zip and install that into the back of your Joomla. So once you have done that and you've installed it you're going to want to go to components ext explorer and then go to the temp directory. Now once you're in the actual temp directory itself, you're going to want to create a new file or directory. You're going to want to name it AEC and you want to make it a directory and then you're going to want to hit create. We've already created it in this case so you can actually hit create but we're going to hit cancel. Remember you will hit create at this point. Once that is done in here itself, then you're going to want to make sure that it is actually writable to the outside world. And the way that you're going to do that is you're going to click on AEC, the directory that you created, and then go to change rights for the file or folder. And you're going to want to make sure in the second column down on the right it's either going to be these two or all three of these that you're going to need to change. Sometimes when you change the third one to write, it'll cause a server error. In that case, you don't do that. And what you want to do is actually just make these both writable. Hit save. And then you're going to want to go in via FTP. And where you have actually downloaded the full version of AEC, which we have here, you're going to want to uncompress that locally on your hard drive. And you can see here that we've uncompressed it locally. And the reason we're using this package is because it will install the plugins, the module, and the component. Now, via FTP, you're going to want to go to that, the temp directory and then to the AEC one you created and then upload everything here to your actual server itself. As you can see, we've already done this to save time because this process on our server, for example, took almost six to seven minutes to do so. But once everything is uploaded, then what you're going to want to do is go back to the back end of your Joomla, and then you're going to want to actually go to Extensions, Extension Manager, and in Install from Directory, you're going to see everything is already set up, and you're going to actually see it as this way right here with just Temp after it in your directory and you're going to want to put a slash AEC no ending slash whatsoever and then click install. This will install AEC pretty quickly too from that actual directory that you created where you had uploaded the unzipped file. And then you're going to want to go to extensions plugin manager and once again you're going to want to filter for the word AEC you're going to see six of them come up and you're going to want to make sure for right now that the co two content plugins you disable by actually clicking on them and make sure that authorization AEC access, system AEC error handler, system AEC router, and user AEC user are all enabled. Once that's done, you have AEC installed. Thank you very much.